In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to set up the quick start code. Upon power up, the instrument will display the following display. Using the scroll key, press this once and you will see the PB input. Here you can select the units, degrees C, degrees F and so on. Press the scroll key, here you have the resolution. This is where you can check, you can change the decimal point position. Press the scroll key for the range type. Here you have your thermocouple type and you can change the thermocouple using the arrow keys. We will set this up for type K. Press the scroll key. This is a high point of the thermocouple type. Scroll key again for the low point. Once more for the type of control you wish the controller to use. In this case we are using PID. You can use the arrow keys if you wish to set this to something else such as valve positioner. Use the scroll key for channel 2 if you wish to use channel 2 say for cooling for PID control output. Advance and you continue advancing until you see loop 1 channel 1 PID channel 2 and your logic LA function. If you wish to use a digital input or digital output, uh, the standard I.O., you can use LA using the up and down arrow keys. You may wish to select it for loop 1 channel 1 output or you may wish to use it for a contact or an alarm setting. There are various selections. If you run through the arrow keys, you may wish to set one up or not use it. We can now advance to LB, which is exactly the same as LA. Press the scroll key again for the relay AA. Here we can set this up a similar way. In this case, we will set it up for the alarm output. Press the scroll key again. Here we have module 1A. In this controller, we have a DC output in module 1A. We will set this up for channel 1 output using loop 1. Press the scroll key. Here we set up the range type. And we will set this up for 4 to 20 milliamp output. Advance to the alarm, the alarm we will set up for a high alarm using the PV input. My set point in this particular case will be 100. No latching, no further alarms, and we are now finished. Select yes, and the instrument will now reset with your configured details.